Hey everybody, this is Stephanie Shook with KillerPHP.com and KillerSites.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you the PHP Students Roadmap. Essentially, these are the things that you should learn uh, in what order if you want to become a PHP programmer. So you start, of course, with the basic PHP language. So you have to learn functions and variables and looping and all this kind of stuff. You also have to understand the basic server client uh, cycle and how that affects the way you should write your code. You have to really have an understanding of that basic concept. And I cover that in uh, several other videos, so I'm not going to go over that here. Once you have the basic PHP uh, technology uh, and an understanding of the technology rather in your mind, so you can do this basic stuff. The next step is you want to interact with a database, the most popular database uh, with, PH, with working with PHP is of course something called MySQL and this is a relational database. Now a relational database is a style of database that uh, essentially uh, organizes records in a series of tables. Think of these tables as being like Excel spreadsheets. There are columns and there are rows. And these tables are then linked together and that's why it's called a relational database. There are relations that are formed between one table, another table, and another table. So typically what you have is PHP talking to the database, the MySQL database, although it could be any database really. Uh, PHP is extremely flexible. And uh, this is the you know, this is a huge part of the work in most web programming projects is that interaction between PHP pages and the database. So you have to understand your database uh, theory, how to build them, how to manage them. Not to a great degree. You don't want to become a database administrator, but at least you got to know your basics and your basic SQL syntax, of course. SQL, is, just in case you don't know, is, is short for a structured query language and it's the language of databases. So essentially, when you're creating a connection between your PHP pages and your MySQL database or any SQL-based database, you're using the SQL language, the structured query language. You know, think query as, you know, sending queries to, or, you know, you know what a query is, to, to the database, uh, sending it information, it being the database. So you're using PHP uh, to send information to the database and to pull it from the database and to organize it and to mash it up or do whatever you want to do with it. So that's the next step. So after you got your basics and then you learn your, a little bit of basics about SQL uh, databases and MySQL is the most commonly used database with PHP especially. And then you learn how to connect PHP to MySQL and do the interactions and all the things that sort of go around with that. Once you have, have that under your belt, I would actually argue, and this may surprise people, you want to learn uh, a little bit of JavaScript and how that is, fits into the equation with PHP. And you see that JavaScript is a layer that works in the web browser, of course, it's a different language. Once you learn PHP, learning JavaScript will become much easier. And uh, you, you use it a lot of times to make the interaction between the PHP pages and the server and the user, people actually viewing the pages, you make that a lot easier. So, so once you know PHP basics, you learn MySQL, you learn how to use PHP to interact with MySQL, then I would argue learn a little bit of JavaScript and how that might work with uh, PHP, think forms, HTML forms, and how you can use JavaScript to simplify that. Think Ajax where you can use JavaScript to send uh, requests to your PHP pages. If you don't know what a request is, it's, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to teach that here because, you know, I have, we have videos dedicated to that. So that would be the next step. After you've got that going, and just like, you know, just get your feet wet with that, then you want to start learning object-oriented PHP programming, OOP PHP. I have probably one of the most popular uh, tutorials on that on the web. If you want to check it out, just go to killerphp.com 
and you can see in the top tabs object oriented programming I have a uh, I think it's 15 or 20 step written tutorial and it has a whole bunch of free supplemental videos and I really make understanding OOP object oriented programming in PHP much much easier than you might think otherwise after you have your basic OOP structures uh, understanding of the structures in place then you might want to jump into something called an, an OOP framework, an MVC framework. Now this is basically um, packages of code if you are better organized in, uh, in an OOP fashion that allows you to uh, more easily and more quickly build uh, fancy web applications. Now this is getting in from into the intermediate level to beginner advanced level programming in PHP, but it's still worth uh, learning. Uh, finally, finally, now I should mention in terms of OOP, object oriented program, P PHP frameworks, uh, the big ones out there are like the most popular, the one I recommend is the Zen framework. Then you have uh, Code Igniter, which is very good as from what I've seen. And there's a few other P few others. There's PHP Cake and others, but I recommend the Zen framework simply because it is the predominant framework out there. And if you want to secure work, you want to get jobs, chances are people are going to be asking if you know Zen rather than PHP Cake, which is a competitor, or Codeigniter, which is another competitor. They're, they all have their pluses and minuses. And to be honest with you, lately I haven't really looked at all these individual ones and I can't really say which one is, is may have the overall advantage today, but uh, I can just say that the Zen framework has certain advantages because it's, again, it's controlled by the Zen, by the Zen people, which is basically the people run, run PHP and they're backed by IBM. And you see now already on, uh, in very important companies, that are actually deploying the Zen framework now. So you have a much better chance of getting work if you know Zen rather than, let's say, PHP Cake. Again, this is anecdotal. I haven't done any exhaustive, exhaustive research in that regard. Uh, finally, if you want to really get down and dirty, where you, you know, once you know you, the PHP language, the basic language, you understand databases and inter interacting with the databases, and you know your frameworks, or one framework rather, the next thing is to get into something called design patterns. And a design pattern is basically just a, a preset uh, uh, methodology or a pattern of, of how to structure your code, your PHP code. And it's really a way to, uh, to keep a consistent um, method again, a methodology of, uh, of, of, of structuring an application. Design patterns become very useful actually when you're dealing with more than one programmer because you can you can just cite a pattern and say, okay, uh, for this project, I want you to use a decorator pattern here. And somebody who's well-versed in design patterns or even has some you know, understanding of design patterns will go, oh yeah, decorate pattern. And they'll know what that means. The decorator imply the decorator pattern implies a certain way to, to write your code and, and to interact with your the information that the code's working on in a particular manner. I'm not gonna get into design patterns here. But there you go. That's the uh, the five steps. I'm just looking at my uh, my roadmap here. My PHP students roadmap once again, recap basic PHP, then learn MySQL, and then MySQL PHP interactions, learn an, uh, OOP principles and the basics, then learn an OOP uh, framework, whether it be Zend, Code Igniter, or whatnot, and then study and learn basic PHP design patterns. Uh, before the OOP PHP principles, you may want to look into JavaScript, as I said before, just to learn how JavaScript can be used to uh, use with PHP to interact with PHP. It's, uh, it can be quite interesting. There you go. I hope you found this video useful. We have a whole bunch of new stuff on PHP coming out, I guess, within the next few weeks. That's it. Ciao.